Good morning, my dear students. A warm welcome to Gurudeva online classes. My dear students, in today's class, we will discuss about a poem written by James T. Fields. It is called as the Ballad of the Tempest. The Ballad of Tempest, written by James T. Fields. In this poem, we can see there is a ship and in that ship there are some of the sailors including the some of the passengers who have been struck in a storm who have been struck in a storm what is their experience when the ship including the sailors including the passengers what they feel and what was the experience while the ship was struck or hit by the storm okay as the poem suggests ballad of tempest ballad means they have already given in the glossary ballad means it is a narrative rhyme in general you can call it as a folk songs in common term you can call it as a folk songs it is a folk song based on tempest the meaning of tempest is storm what is the meaning of tempest tempest means storm so in general you can call that title as the song of the storm the song of the storm okay before going to the poem here is a some of the necessary things what you have to know before starting the poem what is that see fortune favors the brave is an often quoted statement even columbus <coughs> even columbus had a lot of faith in the almighty but is it true of everybody now listen to a poem where the sailors face a great peril see whether someone will come to their rescue or not read the poem okay one of the beautiful statement one of the beautiful lines often said by the people what is that for fortune favors the brave what is the statement fortune favors the brave what is the meaning of fortune you might have already heard this word fortune fortune means luck or opportunity or chance favors to the brave means the chance the opportunities the luck is only beneficial to those who are brave means who are ready to face the challenges who are ready to accept the challenges who are ready to solve the problems only for those the opportunities the luck the chance is going to favor or else we can tell god helps to those who help themselves right this is also one of the often said statement god help to those who are ready to help themselves one who is ready to help himself then god will help us okay fortune favors the brave is an often quoted statement even columbus had a lot of faith in the almighty even columbus who is the character here columbus before this poem there is a one more lesson one more play one more drama that is called as a discovery which has been excluded due to the covid due to the pandemic some of the syllabus has been already reduced you know that so in that reduced syllabus the co discovery lesson has been excluded so in that discovery there is a character called the columbus so what the columbus is going to do is he went from a spain with a ship and with us some of the crew members with some of the sailors he went to find the new sea route and during finding the new sea route he has to go on a voyage means he has to travel on sea so while he was traveling on sea he was struck by 
by the tempest or he was struck by the storm like the same way this in this poem we learn how a ship has been struck and what were the experiences of the crew members or the sailors or the passengers so even columbus had a lot of faith in the almighty we know that columbus is a man who discovered america right columbus is a man who discovered america to some extent it is true not completely but to some extent we can say that the columbus is the one who discovered the america so even columbus had a lot of faith in the almighty almighty means to whom we call the almighty the supreme one the powerful one the omnipotent to whom we call the god so even the columbus had a lot of faith in the god why columbus had lot of faith because once he is going to leave his family he is going to leave his land he has to travel on a sea for years right for years so who is the one who will help him the god so by taking the name of the god he said to his why before starting something good we take the blessings of our mother and we take the name of the almighty right god so even the columbus had a lot of faith in the almighty or the omnipotent or the powerful or the supreme one that is nothing but the god but is it true of everybody yes columbus had a lot of faith in god we agree that but what about the crew members what about the rest of the sailors whether all of them were having the same kind of a faith what the columbus was having on god we don't know that right maybe or may not be there is a possibility there is a there is an uncertainty we don't know that but is it true of everybody now listen to a poem where the sailors face a great peril we don't know that whether the rest of the sailors are going to have a same kind of a faith what the columbus had right so what we discuss now is now listen to a poem where the sailor face a great peril in this poem we are going to discuss that there are some of the sailors on a ship who are going to face a great peril what is the meaning of peril danger what is the meaning of peril danger risk or hazard see whether someone will come to their rescue or not and we will know that we will come to know that whether there is someone who came to help those crew members who have been struck by the storm or struck by the what tempest okay or the violent wind now my dear students come to the poem we were crowded in a cabin not a soul would dare to sleep it was midnight on the waters and a storm was on the deep and a storm was, sorry and the storm was on the deep this is a fearful thing in winter to be shattered by the blast and to hear the rattling trumpet thunder cut away the mast my dear students you can see here you can see some of the images where the ship has been struck by the storm and we all know that what is going to happen during the storm attacks the ship the waves are going to rise very high right during the storm during the what tempest what is going to happen what are the changes we will see in a surface of the ocean the waves which are very calm during in a normal time the same what are the same waves during the storm the waves are going to rise the waves are ready to hit the ship and to make it sink you may see that right easily you can see that there is a ship which has been struck in a storm right so 
we were crowded in a cabin not a soul would dare to sleep here we means as i already told in this poem we are going to discuss or the poet james t fields is going to describe the experience of a ship crew he is going to describe the experience of the ship members or the sailors when they have been gone through or hit by or struck in a storm we were be or we were crowded here we means the captain of the ship the sailor of the ship including some of the passengers okay we were crowded what is the meaning of crowded crowded means packed we were overfilled or packed we were crowded in a cabin where the people or where the crew members or where the passengers or where the sailors have been crowded they have been crowded in a cabin what is the meaning of cabin they was given in the glossary cabin means it is a small room it is a small private room of a ship cabin means it is a small private room of a ship why all the people were crowded in a single room in a ship there are many rooms right in a ship there are many rooms for what reason all the sailors all the crew members have been crowded overfilled or packed in a cabin because they were in a trouble they were feared they were shivering because their ship has been struck or hit by the storm we were crowded in the cabin not a soul would dare to sleep because of the storm because of the fear not a soul so it means not a single human being not a single sailor not a single person would dare to sleep they are which one meaning of day ready they were not ready they were not having that much of guts for example consider we people are going somewhere in a bus and we came to know that the bus brake is fail and is not going to stop whether you can sleep easily or let it be the bus is anyhow we are going to meet with an accident no problem when it is going to meet with an accident we will see of that type so why we are worried we will really sleep or as imagine you are going in a plane the plane's landing gear has been struck and it cannot be land you have to fly and fly when the captain will tell to the passengers my dear passengers the plane is going not going to land because of some of the problem you will get panic right you are going to get panic in the same way the crew members when they came to know that their ship has been affected by the storm or hit by the storm not a single human being not a single sailor is day is ready to sleep it was midnight on the waters and the storm was on the deep it was midnight on the waters what was the time what was the time when the ship has been struck in a storm it was midnight what was the time my dear students very good it was midnight it was midnight on the waters it was midnight on the sea and a storm was on the deep during the midnight the storm the tempest the wind was on a deep what is the meaning of deep extreme or intense so at what time the ship has been struck on in a midnight in a midnight it was midnight on the sea when the storm when the gust of the wind when the wind the speed of the wind was very deep deep means intense or heavy or extreme it is a fearful thing in winter to be shattered by the blast this means it is the old form of what it is okay it is fearful thing in winter which is the fearful thing in winter what is or which is the thing the poet is telling it is a fearful thing yes the ship 
which have been affected or struck in a storm that is the fearful thing because it's already midnight that that too it is a season of winter during the winter season the water is very hot right no the water is very cold the weather will become chilly one right so during the winter season it is a very fearful thing that a ship has been affected by the storm because as i told when the storm will hit or when the storm will come the waves will become high the waves are going to rise and the waves can go easily what inside the ship and the water will sprinkle the chilly water the cold water is going to sprinkle on the human being so that is the fearful thing so it is a fearful thing in winter what is the fearful thing in winter the ship has been struck or it has been affected or it has been hit by the storm it is a fearful thing in winter to be shattered by the blast it is a fearful thing in a winter that a ship has been struck in a storm and to be shattered by the blast and the meaning of shattered what is the meaning of shattered my dear students shattered means destroyed torn break into pieces okay to be shattered by the blast what is going to get shattered what is going to get destroyed what is going to become broken into pieces or what is going to torn into pieces see what is the meaning to be shattered by the blast what is the meaning of blast strong blow of the air or strong blow of the wind or strong gust of the wind what is going to get shattered by the strong wind yes the ship very good the ship is going to get destroyed the ship is going to get shattered when during the storm we all know during the storm what is going to happen the wind is going to take very furious place the wind is going to blow extremely the gust of the wind is going to take place very violently so when the wind is going to struck the ship the ship may become what imbalanced and the water it may hit rapidly so by the force by the force of that water the what the outer structure of the ship may broke because we know that in a olden days in a past years the ship have been made by the wood nowadays we, we are having some of the sophisticated technologies apart from wood we have using many other metals which are light weighted and very strong but in olden days there is a primitive type of building the ships that they have to use what the wood they have to use wood to some extent the wood is going to get resisted by the water but in a storm when the water is very what the waves are very heavy the winds are very heavy to what extent it may survive right so in a winter time in a mid time when the ship has been struck by the storm it is very fearful that the ship may destroy it may shatter by the gust of the wind or the blast and to hear the rattling trumpet and there is one more thing which is very fearful one means the ship has been affected by the storm and the ship may get shattered by the blast and one more fearful thing what is that and to hear the rattling trumpet and to hear the rattling trumpet thunder katavida mark what is the another fearful thing the rattling trumpet and to hear the rattling trumpet what is the meaning of rattling and to hear the rattling trumpet what is the meaning of rattling rapid sounds rattling means rapid sounds for example you might have heard a snake called as a rattle snake right you might have heard the sound sorry name of the species of the snake called as a rattle snake 
right? There is a snake on its tail. It have some of the what? Some of the thing which means some of the kind of a sound, rattle sound. So that is called as a rattling sound. Means maybe continuous sound, making what? Continuous sound, and it is very fearful to hear the rattling trumpet. Rattling means rapid sounds. When the wind is going to blow, whether it blows very calmly, whether you won't hear anything. You hear some of the sound side which is very fearful, so that is called the rattling sounds. And it is to that poet or to the sailors or the crew members, it is sounding like it is coming out from a trumpet. In the jazz poem, you have already you have seen that trumpet. It is a musical instrument. So the sound, the sound of the strong wind is just like a sound. Which is coming from a trumpet. Thunder cut away the mast. What is this thunder cut cut away the mast? All of a sudden, one of the crew member saw that it's already thundering. It's already lightning. So, what is the indication? Imagine you are standing outside and you are seeing thundering and lightning. What is the What will you assume? What is going to happen next after the thunder? What is going to happen? Exactly, very good. It is the sign that the rain. It is the sign of the rainfall. The thundering and the lightning is the sign of the rainfall. Am I right? Yes. So while all these things were going on, one of the crew member, one of the sailor, he saw that thunder. He saw lightning. And it is the indication that the rainfall is going to happen. The rainfall is going to begin. See, already the situation is bad. Already they have been struck in a midnight on water where there is a winter season where the water is very cold. When the gust of the winds is blowing very heavily, the waves are going to continuously hit the ship, and the ship may break into pieces. And now the situation became bad to worse. What is going to happen? Rainfall is going to happen. It's going to rain. So thunder. When one of the crew members saw thundering, he said, "Cut away the mast." What he said, what he uttered, what he told, he told thunder, lightning. Please cut away the mast. What is the meaning of mast? Mast means it is a pole to support the sail. You can see here. You can see, right? What is this? It is the mast. It is the mast. See here. Right? Imagine this is a ship. That is a mast. What is that? In a olden days, while the ship has to move from one place to another place, they were using such kind of a mast. It is what this mast is having some cloth, right? So this is a cloth. Okay, when the wind is going to pass, it can't pass from this side. So what may happen when the winds are going to hit this cloth? The ship will move. Nowadays we are using some of the fuels, diesel, petrol, or some other biochemicals products to travel or to use on a boat to start the engine. But in the olden days, in the previous years, in the last years, or some years back, what if the ship has to move, they have to use the mast. Okay. So for what reason the crew member said to cut away the mast? Think for what reason? For for what reason he told to cut away the mast? Because it's in a storm where already the ship is imbalancing because of the waves and because of the storm. If there is a sail during the storm, we don't know from which direction the wind is going to blow. 
if it is in a normal situation the navigator or the sailor or the captain of the ship may tell the wind is going to blow from east to west or south to east or in a one particular direction but during the storm can one say that the wind is going to blow from here to here or from east to west or west to south or south to now no we cannot predict so what may happen sometimes the ship may go here sometimes the ship may go that side finally when it becomes imbalance it may turn it may sink so to avoid that accident one of the sailor because thundering it is a sign of it is a indication of rain so during the rain it's already stopped it is already the ship has been struck in a storm and that too the situation become even worse when it started raining and when it started raining again the water will rise and some of the accident may take place so to avoid that one of the crew member said to cut away the mast because if the crew member or if we cut away the mast to some extent we can maintain the balance of the ship and we can restrict the hazard okay so i hope you understood the first paragraph later what happened whether someone came to help those crew members or help those sailors we will come to know or we will discuss in the next class thank you